quick overview of the Samsung Gen 6 control. So here we can see with zone selected in blue, we're currently on it, we can change it to hot water by using the left and right arrows. So click OK on zone. We can see the current outlet from the heat pump, 39 degrees C. Current indoor temperature, 21.6. We can go back, hot water, press OK on this. We can see the current tank temperature, 52.1. The current set temperature is 50 degrees C. We can increase this by pressing up and decrease it by pressing down. And then the back arrow to exit back out. To switch these on and off, we need to press the little power button by here and you can see hot water's gone off. Power button again to press back on. Exactly the same with the heating, on and off. Pressing the little cog menu in the corner, we can click OK on options and we can see what's running. So what's running is highlighted in blue. So we've got the water pump that's currently running and we have the indoor thermostat which has a demand on it currently for the heating. Quiet mode, outing, schedule where we can set different schedules. So you can do daily, weekly, yearly and holiday mode. Back arrow to get out of that. Down to energy. So in energy, you can see the energy usage. You have instantaneous power. So currently the heat pump running at the moment is using 1.5 kilowatts of electric. We can go down to weekly energy usage. We can see the consumption for this week is 17.4 kilowatts of electric. We can go down then to generation and see that we've generated 56.1 kilowatts of heat. With these, you'll be able to work out your COP. Back arrow to exit out of this, over to option. So you've got button lock, indoor unit information, and user mode. So inside user mode, you can change the language, daylight savings time, lock keypad, and wired control, which is this controller. So in here, you can do change whether that LED is on or off. Button mute, so if you want to get rid of the little noise the buttons make, you can select it and change that. Current time, you can set the time and date in here as well, and reset the control. And display settings then, how bright the screen is gonna be, and the screen save of when it's in dormant mode. And that's a basic overview.